we've got three little juveniles here lucky for them the sun comes up over this building and it goes like this and they're only in maybe five hours of sunlight and the sun goes down below this tree line so they're shaded a dumpster like this out, sitting out in the intense sun all day these guys are liable to to die from the heat these dumpsters i mean they become scalding i can't even leave my arms on them it might be 200 degrees the steel you know like a hot tin roof so uh, we're gonna get these guys out of here you guys are lucky yeah you're lucky huh the dumpster that used to be here was one of the tall square square ones or it had a lid on top two lids on top and then it had the sliding doors so the doors would, when the doors were open it was here and these raccoons they can't jump they can only jump about like that vertical <laughs> and uh the steel walls of course there's nothing they can get their get their fingernails in too and uh they're just death, uh, just death traps they're great climbers as soon as they touch a tree or a fence i mean they'll, they'll go straight up in an instant but anyways there's nothing for them to climb on here so let's get to business <clears throat> you probably won't want to do this yourself i mean i suppose you could try if you want to but just don't get your hands near their mouth and you'll be fine or i'll be fine i don't want to tell they want to try this because these little raccoons they can scare to death out of you <laughs> they can make a noise like a like a wild beast but they like getting inside his tote he might just come right in there watch he might just crawl right in there see like i'm gonna protect my hands get those bottles out of the way i might get three for one here there's one two the main problem i have is getting this plastic uh, getting the getting the stuff out of the way without getting bit <laughs> these guys are actually those sweethearts if, if they don't feel like their lives endangered they're not gonna fight back but they can fight back uh one of, one of these little tiny ones about this size got got a hold of my dog one night and <laughs> made my dog submiss uh i was worried about my dog killing the coon and the dog had the little tiny coon was on top of my dog and my dog was screaming so they are capable of fighting back well, i wanted to go three for one dude see there too they like getting in the tote makes them feel comfortable probably reminds them of their home you know a burrow or a hauled out tree or something come on dude well, i wanted to go three for one so they all can go back home together and i don't want i don't want one getting separated so there he goes and if i back it off there he goes go there he goes i get your tail boy <laughs> three for one sometimes when they realize they're being moved they'll try to jump out of here so i'm gonna try to uh make them not realize what's going on until i get down here okay now hey that's success there <laughs> see how that tote makes them feel comfortable and safe go on dude i don't want them to get separated oh. <laughs> so much for that philosophy one went that way <laughs> one went that way another went that way so much for getting them all out at once <laughs> I was really surprised to see him go that way. <clears throat> there might be another dumpster down there they get in. So it might be part of their territory. They usually will go where they know the closest water source, and raccoons like to live by water sources, is a little pond over in the woods here, maybe an eighth mile, and then uh, about maybe a quarter mile, there's a flood ravine. So I'm pretty sure they're going to live around there somewhere. Raccoons like to live around water sources and they dig out this plastic and they have a habit of taking it into the, taking it down close to water sources. If you're interested in that video where I figured out they uh, are polluting the ocean 
the video doesn't start out with that premise i just kind of learn it during the video so you have to it's like a half hour video or so you have to watch the whole video but uh anyways i hope you enjoyed this little short video they all three look look to be pretty good i don't think they're dehydrated yet so they know where their drinking source is at i'm sure but anyways as always thanks for watching the many uses of tote <laughs>